What if folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here, and welcome back to Sky Factory. I keep wanting to call it Sky Factory Reloaded, but that's not what it's called. And I'm not sure where I got the reloaded thing from. But uh, in any case, welcome back. This is episode 9, I believe. I think in the last episode, episode 8, it was. We we set up our lava here, and uh, to the chagrin of some, uh, some subscribers, I did go ahead and expand it. I know someone commented and said I would never need that much lava, and they're probably right, but it was relatively cheap. Now, I do want to point out that some of you guys made some amazing suggestions on how to do this a lot better. I got tweets, I got comments, and some of the stuff that you guys came up with was absolutely brilliant. And we're definitely going to be doing, redoing, I should say, this whole setup here in the future, probably using mostly thermal expansion. I want to redo the lava creation. First, I want to redo all of this because this is just a mess and I have to come by and fix it in you know, like every 10 or 20 minutes because it's just, it's just not ideal. Uh, that said, it does work. And I think the important thing to note here is though you, you could do all this with thermal expansion, you do need power for that. And when we started all of this, we didn't have access to power. Or I guess we did, but it was using coal, which we don't really have a whole lot of. I think that what we did here was really good because it doesn't require power. It's relatively efficient. I mean, even just using the equipment here, I could have set it up a lot better. And that had so many issues. I'm just a total noob. But so yeah, in the future, we're definitely going to go back and change both the lava creation and the, the automation here. Um, but that's for the future. For right now, we're going to focus on making power because in order to do anything, we've got to make some power. Now, as it happens, these are not the best tanks to use. These are really cool because if you shift and right click them, you can pick up the tank and take the lava with you. I don't know where that's going to be useful here, though. I'm not sure where we would take it unless we took it up to some clouds with us, which we will eventually go to the clouds uh, one day. But uh, for right now, we're going to go ahead and leave them here full of uh, lava. And we're actually going to venture downstairs. I've created another little utilities area. Uh, and I've got to be careful now because if I fall here, I will no longer land in some water. I've moved the water over here. Uh, this does work, actually. I just kind of placed the two blocks and then I went down in the stream and I set up this little catch down here. And it takes up a lot less space. I think it's nicer than having just a giant pool. It's also a lot closer to over here in case I need to make clay quickly. I don't have to run over here and get the water and run back. That's just a little aside. Look at the look at the monster creation. So many monsters. So so many things to uh, to kill and get resources from. So uh, I didn't anticipate how strange it would look under here with things just uh, sticking through the roof. But that doesn't matter. We've got our we've got our uh, transfer pipes coming down through the ceiling here, where we're going to be building some open block tanks. Now these guys are cool. You can actually turn them into a multi block structure by just placing them side by side with each other. And we're going to take a look at that. Let's see. Open blocks. World domination with open blocks. This is actually a really cool mod. I've been doing some reading into it, and I'm going to be doing a Cubs guide to it here soon. But uh, the, the the rhyme and reason for this blocks is there is none. It's just a whole bunch of really random great stuff because, you know, as the name would suggest, open blocks. It is open. Pretty much anyone can can make a mod, um, like a little item for it. And as long as the developer approves of it, it ends up in here. So you end up with a lot of weird stuff. You have really awesome tanks right next to Path. Like, you know... Because you might need some path. Uh, doesn't do anything, it just looks nice. And I, I agree, it does. You're going to actually be seeing that in the Cubs Guide when I finally get it ready. But we're going to need some glass panes and some obsidian. So, oof, man, obsidian. That's that's going to be that's gonna be really hard because we're going to have to have like, um, like lava and stuff. I wish we had a nice, maybe infinite source of lava that we could go... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that was, that was a lame attempt at humor there. I'm actually going to create a couple more buckets because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to run back and forth a whole lot. Uh, and besides that, it's, it's not like we don't have the ability to support it because we have a whole bunch of lava. So this, this actually works out really well. I think you can just, yeah, look at that. Lava, excellent. And ooh, can't run into that thing. I also, I don't know if you noticed, I made me some nice iron tools. I need to make some armor in case I have to fight. Actually, I don't know what is here that I would have to fight. But I threw out all the old tools because I didn't want to deal with them anymore, so they're no longer an issue. Break that, we'll place this here. Now, I'm wondering if that's going to fill up with rainwater. Well, just in case, it won't now. Of course, that's not going to work because we have to put water on top of it in order to actually get the obsidian. So, um, also, uh, I didn't think of this at the time. We're going to need four things of obsidian, not three. But uh, I'll run over there and get one of these as soon as I'm done creating some obsidian. I'll get another one. No issue. Not an issue. You know, when you consider how cheap item ducks are, it's almost worth running a whole other thing over here and setting up a tank just to have, like, instant access to lava. I'm getting really lazy now. I really don't want to have to run all the way over there and get lava every time that I need it. But that's not really uh, a necessity. It could be useful, but it's not really something that we're going to need. 
in the, the very near future. I, I don't think so. Uh, it could be, though. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's happened before. I've been wrong many, many times. In any, in any case, though. How many of these are we actually going to make? How many does this give us? It only gives us two. Not ideal. We, we're going to want more than that. But I can go ahead and show you how it works. If we run over here and set them up real quick. We'll place one down. Right there, I guess. And it should start filling with lava, I would think. Yeah, there we go. And let's say we put another one on... Oh, no, actually, we don't want to put another one underneath it. The problem is you can only access uh, the lava from the bottom block. And if we have the bottom block lower, we'd actually have to go underneath it to get it out. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We'll go ahead and break this. Disrupt the flow for just a second. Put another block on top. And boom, look at that. They connect up. As long as you don't look right at it, you can't tell it's two separate blocks. Although, if you do look right at it, you can definitely tell. Uh, it shows you how much is in there by tank so it actually shows us there's there's some in here but not up here so it doesn't actually see it as one giant block but uh you know that's, that's still pretty good doesn't actually look like we're gonna need more than that but i want to create a really big elaborate ridiculously huge let's just uh put the water somewhere that's the problem with the waters you can't get rid of it up here there we go well um i don't even know where i was going with that whole sentence oh jeez Oh, these stupid machines. Oh, did it finally work through its backlog? Look at that. It worked through the backlog. And uh, we probably have a whole bunch of resources now, so that's not going to be an issue. I, I just kind of accidentally made a block of obsidian there. Don't ask how. Um, just go ahead and accept the fact that that's going to be here for a little while because I don't have a diamond pick. And I'm not patient enough to sit here and break it with anything else. I know it can be done. Don't get me wrong. Uh, everyone should know and understand by now that you can break obsidian with other blocks. It's just you won't be able to keep it. There he goes. That's the buttercup we've come to know and love, who just runs around like a maniac. Alright, oops. Don't right-click on him with a bucket. Bad idea. I guess we'll expand backwards some. And look at that. Excellent. And it looks like it shows the two bottom ones as having the an equal, equal share, more or less. But the two top ones are not included in that mix. Maybe that's... Mm, mm, hard to tell. Not hard to tell how it's figuring that out, but that should be enough for now. If you want to, we could expand it out further that way or up some, but you can kind of see how it works. Uh, the next step is to actually build our magmatic engine. Or it's not an engine anymore, is it? It's a magmatic... Oh, what do they call them now? See, I haven't actually used this mod since I believe it was two, and I think we're on three now, so they're dynamos, and which is a way cooler name, you gotta admit. So we're gonna need some Envar, and we're gonna need a, a redstone transmission coil. I remember these guys. Yeah, silver ingots. All of which is going to be relatively easy to get. I believe Envar is created with iron and... Whoa, what? What is this? Oh, a gear. Envar is created when you smelt down an Envar blend, which is going to be pulverized iron and pulverized ferrous metal. Now, here's my question. If we were to put both of those items into... Oh, rain. Why have you got to be here? No one likes you, rain. Can I... Can I turn down in this version? Can I just turn down rain? Is that an option? Doesn't look like it. We don't have sound control yet. Oh well, eventually modded Minecraft will catch up with the real deal and we'll be able to turn down the rain. Well folks, I think that this is the place where we ask all the big questions right here on this show. So what we're gonna ask today is, can we, in theory, put two iron and one ferrous into here and uh, and actually get some, some uh, what are we looking for, Invar? Let's see if that can actually even be done. So what have we got? We've got tin ingots, iron ingots. Let's actually look for straight up iron, pulverized iron. And oh, you know what? I forgot that we actually get pulverized ores from the machines over there. So we could actually just go ahead and mix them if we have some ferrous. Uh, let's see, ferrous. Too bad it's not in alphabetical order. Alrighty guys, bad news. It looks like in order to get ferrous, we're gonna have to either pulverize iron and get it as a byproduct or pulverize nickel and get it out of that. Now, I've tried using nickel as just a straight-up substitute, but that's not going to work. We're going to actually have to put nickel bars into a machine and pulverize it. So let's actually get some some uh, bars cooking up real quick while that's going. We're going to have to build a pulverizer and a way to power it. Now, ideally, we'd be using a magmatic dynamo to power it. Unfortunately, as previously mentioned, in order to make the dynamo, we have to have power... To, to get the stuff to make the dynamo. Basically, we have to have power in order to make power. So, steam, dynamo, fairly cheap, just copper. We've got some coal, we've got some water. We can make this work temporarily. Copper, iron, and some redstone, looks like, and then some redstone and some silver. Should most have most of this stuff. We've already got a block of copper. 
And we don't actually have any silver cooked up, do we? Well, I'll get to work on that then. There we go, we are getting our silver. I just wanted to see how many silver it took to create. Is that correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, yeah. That'll get us to work creating us some more silver. And uh, we've already got our bar of ferrous block, which was just the nickel. I'm actually curious to check one thing real quick. If we take a look at that, is there any other uses for it? Any other way to get it down to pulverize ferrous metal besides using a machine? It doesn't look like it. So, sadly, we, we are going to have to go through with plan B. There is no plan C, um, but that's fine. We, we were, weren't really anticipating uh, a decent plan C. Oh, dear. Those little slimes, man. They, they, they come out of nowhere. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Are you ready to calm down and have a sit? Maybe, probably not. Steam Dynamo. Let's start off with the basics here. Let's build this guy. Only need one of those. And then from there on, we're going to need gears. I didn't actually look into the gears. It looks like it's just iron and copper. So we've got the iron. And oh, forgot to actually break down the copper there. I believe it said two gears. So... Ah! There we go. Got our two gears. And then it's just copper ingots and redstone. So we should have everything to, boom, build a steam dynamo. Now, don't get me wrong. These guys here are these guys here are great. They do function, and they function just fine. It's just they don't function as well as I would prefer that they do. Let's place that there, and then we can. Okay, well, it's not quite sideways. Probably gonna have to build a a wrench or a hammer. I believe it's a, a hammer actually to rotate it anyway. So the pulverizer, which is another machine we probably would have eventually had to build anyway. Oh boy, so we're going to need a redstone reception coil, which is the same thing as the other coil, just with gold in the middle. We're also going to need copper, a machine frame, which is just glass, a steel ingot. Ooh, steel. Oh, we can use iron as well. Great, so we don't actually have to worry about however you go into the process of making steel. So that's good. And a piston and some flint. So all very basic things, all things we probably have an abundance of up here. I'll just go ahead and grab that and I'll meet you back downstairs. Oh, there you guys are. Where'd y'all wander off to? I figured some of you would stick around with me through the arduous process of, mm, that's, that's wrong. We're actually running out of wood. I'm probably gonna have to go cut down some trees for the first time in forever. Um, which is also a song in the Disney movie Frozen. But uh, that doesn't matter. That's not what we're talking about here today. Let's, can we get that recipe in there? Oh, dear. I don't think we actually have enough glass. Ah, it was not anticipated. Honestly, some of the things that get sucked up in this machine that just end up crowding my inventory don't need any of this nonsense in here. Sand. Five sand. <sighs> I would have preferred more. Monster Jerky! Uh, yeah, Sky Factory. Now brought to you by Monster Jerky for all of your jerky needs. How many of these do we need? I think it said four, right? Do we need any for uh, the recipe? No, we do not. Okay, great. Well, that's going. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll get our, I believe it was a reception coil. Yes. Reception coil at the ready. We've got our six pieces of glass now, so that's great. Got a nice little surplus. Boom! And then I guess we just throw it all in there and we get our pulverizer. Fantastic. Now we'll set it up next to this. I don't suppose it'll get power like that. We could just break this machine, of course, and uh, plug it in directly. Uh, that is to say, I think you can. Yeah, look at that. And we'll plug her in. We'll make sure that that side is... Does, do you have to? I don't think you have to set power on these, actually. There are some other machines that do require you to set the power input side, but I don't think this is one of them. Let's put some water in it because it does require water to run. It is powered by steam. And then we'll need some coal. Probably not a whole lot of coal for this job. We'll put maybe... No! Oh, look at that. It's gone. <laughs> like magic, troll face. Okay. What do we need to put in here? I already forgot what we were doing. Ah, right. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's pretty quick, isn't it? Ta-da! Pulverized ferrous metal. It is, in fact, working. And if we take our iron that I think I put back in the chest now, actually looking at it. Yep, looks like I did. But if we run up here and grab it really quick, and I'm going to keep talking so I don't have to do a jump cut. Uh, <laughs> where actually is the... There, it's the iron. We do two iron. Piece of ferrous. What? No. No, this is, this is supposed to work. Guys, this is... 
This is supposed to work. What am I doing wrong here? Let's open this recipe back up. Pulverized ferrous metal. Iron, pulverized iron, or iron powder. So we got pulverized iron ore. Right, from Ex Nihilo. Does it have to be from thermal expansion? Is that a thing? Because if so, we can make that happen. Um, we're, we're, we're not going to be too too difficult here. We, we're not going to demand it to work perfectly. If I can just throw some iron in here and get some pulverized... Oh, it is a little bit different. Look at that. I wouldn't have never guessed. So picky. So, so picky, some of these mods. There we go. That's how we get our Envar blend. And how much of this stuff do we actually need? We're going to need three pieces here, plus four, so eight, uh, eleven. That's not actually going to be too difficult. I think we can probably pull it off. Let's make a couple more. Oh, we used up all the iron. Oh, well. Great. Went above and beyond there. We're going to cook it up in here because I don't want anything fishy to happen if I were to throw it up there into the, the giant, what, the smeltery. Oh, not this stuff again. You calm down. I'm well aware of the monsters. I know they're over there. They don't bother me. I know they bother you, but they don't bother me. Why don't you be on slime duty? See if you can spot some slimes or something. Make yourself useful. I'm gonna go ahead and grab us some transfer pipes. And we're probably gonna need another liquid transfer node. So while that's cooking up, let's go ahead and make one of those. So transfer node. You would think I would have this memorized by now, but I don't. Very basic recipe though. Ender pearl. Actually, I can't remember it by sight. I say it's basic, but I, I seem to forget it every single time. Ender pearl. Bop up. Boop. And wouldn't you know what? I get all of, all of this put in there, and I completely forgot that we're gonna have to build a chest for it. Boom. And then all we need for a liquid transfer node is a bucket, a couple of iron, and some lapis. So iron we have an abundance of. Lapis. I don't know if we have any over here. Guess I took it back all over there. Liquid transfer node, excellent. Pull the rest of this stuff out of there. This, ah, oh, yeah, perfect timing there. And, ooh, that's still cooking. Is there anything we can put in there? Let's put some, we'll put some cobblestone in there. Because you never have enough smooth stone, my friends. Okay, back to the... Magmatic engine. Couple of gears, which is gonna be iron. Oh, well, look at that, we actually have everything we need. There we go. After that... We got our redstone transmission coil, which we built one of those before already as well. Redstone. And where is the silver? Please tell me I have more. Yay. Fantastic. I think that's the whole thing. Boom. Magmatic dynamo. We have done it. I feel successful. I actually feel legitimately successful because I had a feeling this episode was just going to be a big epic fail like previous episodes have. But it actually looks like it's going pretty well. So we'll put that there. This is going to be the make or break moment here though. If this actually pulls out the lava, and uh, the lava is not going up as quickly as I expected it would. Someone told me that I would have more than enough lava, but I figured, you know, in the amount of time we've been here and it's been functioning, you, you think we'd have a little bit more. Has it filled up these tanks here? Yeah, it is still producing, still filling up the tanks. If we check back here, yeah, it's still producing, and subsequently pumping out, I would imagine, although it looks like it's holding... Ah, yeah, there it goes. Kind of goes in waves. So yeah, it is still producing lava. I guess I'm just... Just paranoid. Maybe the open blocks. Ow. They'll fill up in time, I guess. Okay, so. I suppose if we just place one of these, like, right here. Whoa. It is automatically powering up. And there you go. It is creating energy. I hope it doesn't blow up if it uh, produces more energy than it can hold. So the next step would uh, to be to run cabling out of it and run it into some machines. I don't know. I got a feeling that this episode's running kind of long, though. I can't say that for sure. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here because we've done what we accomplished. We're now creating infinite energy because we have... Why, Rain? Why? why? Why do you do this to me? Is it because we're in like a jungle biome? I don't even know. It doesn't even show me that information anymore. It used to show me, you know, the time of day and what biome we were in. Maybe that's a setting that I have turned off. Maybe I accidentally toggled that. Let me know how to get that back because that would be useful. But, uh... Yeah, it looks like this is actually holding pretty well. This is creating infinite power from the infinite lava. And now all we gotta do is run it up to some machines. So in the next video, we're gonna make sort of the basics. We've already got a pulverizer. We'll move it over here. We'll create a wrench to actually move it over here. We'll hold on to that. Uh, oh, we actually need to create a place to store the power as well. So we've got a lot 
uh, on our hands for next episode. I'm going to leave it here, though, because I don't want to oversaturate this episode with stuff. Uh, again, leave comments and suggestions down in the comment section, you know, where you would typically leave them. And uh, they'll definitely show up in, in future episodes. So thanks, you guys, so much, and I will see you all next time. Hopefully it won't be raining so much. Bye.